Alright, hi guys. Um, it's now Sunday morning. It's 11, well, Sunday morning. It's almost lunchtime. It's 11.30. I am on my way to the hospital to see Jay. Um, I have to stop at the foot of the hill though and put, um, last night when the ambulance came, they had, um, they forgot their, uh, like, blood sugar checker thing and I, when I had seen it last night I was like this doesn't look like Jay's anyways it, I was I should have brought it with me last night because I ended up seeing the ambulance driver but at the hospital um, but the ambulance driver called me this morning and asked me if they had forgot it at my house and I was like yeah I, I had found it last night and I wasn't sure if it was his or not and so they uh he, he lives, well, we're, they're stationed, it's a little little ways away, not too far, but instead of me having to go up that big hill and drop it off to them, I am going to drop it off at the bottom of the hill here. There's a mailbox, so uh, we will, um, I'll just put it in there. I just have it in a bag right here, wrapped it up in an old rag just so it doesn't get too cold and he, he said he's gonna swing by and he'll pick it up so hopefully he'll uh, pick that up and nobody will touch it I don't think anybody's gonna touch it anyways there but so I finally got to sleep last night about 4 30 this morning then I was back up at oof, um, 7 my mom needed some milk for the pancakes. Sorry about the ding and I don't have my seatbelt on, but I just don't want to forget to drop that blood machine off. Um, I'm, I'm happy that they're keeping him another day because they, the way that the doctor was talking last night was they were going to try him on this medication and then send him home tomorrow. And then this morning when I was talking to him, he said... Uh, more or less they were just going to check with the urologist and all that stuff and eventually uh, send him home. So, But then he just contacted me and said that they're going to keep him till tomorrow, which is like, thank goodness, because it's it's so stressful. That, and I honestly think you guys, they should keep him at least 24 hours to monitor him, make sure, you know, that the medication's in getting them you know because it's an adjustment because his kidneys aren't working all that great um, I know the ding is very annoying I'm sorry I wish I could stop it uh, because his kidneys aren't functioning like you know they're supposed to and stuff they're not filtering like our kidneys would they got to be careful they can't give them too much and if they don't if they give them too much you could have a seizure if they don't give them enough he could have a seizure so it's very uh, it's best that they monitor it and get it under control, I think, before he comes home. So, Anyways, I'm going to head down there. I'm going to stop. He wants a coffee because he's... And I mean, now that I know that it's... Apparently it's epileptic. Uh, ep ep yeah, epileptic fits. I had a friend going to school. She took epileptic fits. And it wasn't really like that, like what I experienced but then it was like when he was coming around to it he was kind of looking at us like we were crazy and you know wondering kind of like why my dad was there and but um, they told me if it ever happens again turn him on his side and all that stuff like I'll probably end up calling if it ever happens again I'll call my dad and again like I can't I don't think I could deal with that on my own but uh just to get him to look, we know that he's, you know, safe, and, but he bit all the side of his tongue, all the pieces, and, uh, my mom was saying, like, back in her day, they, <clears throat> they had to put a spoon or something under their tongue or on their tongue, or I don't know how it, how it was, but, uh, she guys would stay up, it keeps moving around. <laughs> So I'm just going to go down here. I'm going to drop off the uh, blood machine. And then I'm going to head down. I don't know if I should go the New Brunswick way or if I should go the Quebec way. Because the, the bridge to New Brunswick is about, I don't know, I'm 45 seconds up the road to the right. Uh, 
just keep moving. Goodness. Most annoying thing. Anyways, I'm gonna shut you guys off. I'll get you adjusted before I take off onto the road. Alright, I think that's as best as I'm gonna be able to do right now. So I drop that off. Hopefully you guys don't shake around too much. I got used plugged in. Charging my phone. So I have to go to Tim's, grab a coffee, and then head to the hospital. So it's been a super hectic time. But like I said, I'm just happy that they're going to keep them a little while longer and get things off oh, for heaven's sakes. Get things, you know, figured out. Sorry if you guys are uh, fall once in a while. I kind of have to frig around with it. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm going to try, try something here. There, that might... I think it's because I had it pushed. I don't think you guys are going to move anymore. So, so like that. Oh, and just to, you know, top everything off, just how the fa how family issues have been going. Um, last night, well, oops. Last night while Jay was in the hospital, I had wrote a status on my Facebook saying that he was in the hospital. <clears throat> and then my aunt, uh, I don't know if you, like, those of you who follow me, you know, like, and watch every video, you guys know... It wasn't quite a year ago. Um, you guys are going to have to stay like that. It wasn't quite a year ago. My cousin ended up having like a premature baby. And we ended up going up and uh, seeing her. And then we come and we seen her when she was down here. <coughs> and uh, anyways, he went into the hospital last night. And uh, he's got pneumonia. My aunt had wrote on my status that his, his, the baby's name's Thomas. He's not even a year old yet. Uh, and he was born, I think, f five weeks too early or eight weeks too early. I'm not quite sure. Um, she had said at the time she didn't know it was pneumonia, but she said that they were in the hospital. So this morning, uh, Jay told me that they were going to have to send the baby up to Quebec to ICU or the, it was either up to Quebec or probably to Halifax to the IWK. Uh, so I think Quebec is about six hours away from here. So uh, anyways, apparently... Like, Jay heard my cousin's voice and he knew that it was her so he had told the nurse he's like tell the, the girl next in the next room because she was in the next room to him tell the girl in the, in the next room to me to uh, come here I want to you know somebody that knows her wants to see her so he went and saw her and, or she went and seen him and they talked for a little bit there and then so he told me this morning that they were sending him to up to Quebec City so that's, you know, it's pretty stressful on a, on a parent. Like, I'm going through a lot, but I can imagine, you know, it's hard on them too, seeing the little baby sick and with, with pneumonia. It's been a rough February. It's been a rough start to the year, period. Pretty much all of January, I was sick. And then I started feeling better, and then this stuff happened in here a week into a week into February. So it's been a crappy year to say the least. I thought, you know, things were going to be different. It was going to be a good year. Boy, was I wrong. It can only get better from here, right? It's gotta. It has, it has no choice to get better. Anyways, I'm going to quit jibber jabbering. I'm going to turn some music on until I get into town. And then I will, 
but I'm on my way to the hospital. I'll chit chat a little more, and then I'll give you guys an update when I come back. We're just heading across to New Brunswick now, going across the bridge. I'm gonna go to the same Tim's that I went to last night, and then I'm gonna head over to the hospital. sleep very much last night. He, I called at 1230 and he was still, he had just gone to sleep and uh, I think he was up for the day at five but he ended up getting up at like one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock. So he's exhausted right now. I hope the lineup's not busy at Tim's. I really don't. I don't feel like waiting half the day. And tomorrow he's got dialysis, so I might have to come pick him up. And good, there's nobody. Well, there's a couple people, but it's not bad, bad. Well, there's still a little bit of a lineup. Alright, so I just stopped at Tim's. I'm on my way to the hospital right now. <sighs> we'll see how he's doing. And then, uh, I, oof, this darn thing is driving me crazy, let me tell you. And after this, I can go home and kind of relax, hopefully, for a little bit. It's Sunday. It's not too busy in town. I think the stores just open now. They're at 12 o'clock, so. <sighs> Try to park as close as I can. To park beside this guy here. go in and see how he's doing. All right, <clears throat> so I'm just leaving the hospital now. It is two o'clock. I stayed with him for a little bit. I can't believe it's two o'clock. Um, <coughs> I'm gonna head home. I think I'm gonna swing by McDonald's. As much as I don't want to, I am literally starving. Uh, I think I'm gonna just go grab myself a burger or something. Um, so we were talking and because tomorrow he's got a dialysis treatment, they are gonna send him down back down to Bathurst, the hospital where he was at. And they can do a lot more for him down there. They they know him and you know, like stuff like that. So um I told them to lay back and rest. Later on tonight, I'm gonna run down again and bring him, uh... Oh, sorry, I'm just exhausted. I'm gonna bring him um, a change of clothes and just a bunch of stuff so that he can go down to Bathurst with him. And it's like I told him, like Bathurst, it's, it's an hour away. But it's just a hop, you know, like 
really it's a hop, skip, and jump away. It's not, if we could go down on good weather, not not weather like the other day that we had because that was horrible, but if we can go down and it's fairly nice, it's not a big, it's not a big deal. And I know my way around Bathurst, so I've been down there enough. I got wicked heartburn right now. So I'm going to head to McDonald's and <clears throat> grab myself a burger and then I'm going to head home, pick up Riley. Later on tonight, like I said, after supper, I want to pack him up a, a bag to bring down so he's got some stuff. And they said like being on the computer and stuff like that, it's no good. Um, Uh, needs to stay off of all that stuff so the uh, we just want him we did well his blood pressure is high it was 170 over 112 which was high so uh, I told him like you know I told I was telling the nurse like we want him to I want him I prefer him down at Bathurst the doctor that was there today wanted to send him to Bathurst anyways because usually when you're admitted uh, they send you to Bathurst, so they would have like kind of un unmitted him or whatever, released him, and he would have went to dialysis tomorrow. And then you know, like you're just—I don't know. I think more testing needs to be done. More, uh, you know, like he's been getting the seizure medication through an IV right now, and I think you know they should keep him a couple days and at least try it with the pills and see how it's going to go and find out, you know, what possibly caused this. Like, it's it's not fun not having answers to, th to things. So I think they'll keep them, him down at Bathurst and do the necessary testing that needs to be done. And oh, it's, it's, it's very stressful. And it's <clears throat> like now that I know that it's seizures that he takes, if it happens again, I know what to do, but I'm still going to be stressed out. It's still going to, you know, it's hard to see a loved one like that. So, but now we know. So, and I mean, there's nothing that we can do about it. It's, it might've been brought on from him banging his head. We don't really, really, really know. So. said I'm gonna head to McDonald's and I don't really want to eat this McDonald's crap but there's not very many restaurants around and I just want to grab something quick to eat because I kind of feel nauseous from not eating Ooh, I am so 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 tired oh I could just go to bed see my drive for a little bit and when I go home I'm gonna take a Tums wicked 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 indigestion it's probably from the black coffee that I had this morning oh sorry about the bumps this road is crazy crazy road Is this one going like what a moron oh my god that wasn't uh it was either go straight or turn lane and she was in oh people like that that drive me crazy that don't know how to drive properly idiots like that is what causes accidents i don't know if you if i got that on tape or not but taking my niece for uh... this 
idiot coming out of the inway to the drive through Like, see what I mean? See what kind of people are we going to deal with? I don't even know what I want here. Just one second. Hey, I take your order. Uh, can I get a Big Mac combo with uh, Coke, please? That's it? Yeah. Couldn't see this guy spinning. What's going on? You guys are missing a lot of the good uh, craziness. I don't know why these guys don't put salt on their fries. Sunday. <sighs> so I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna clean up. I'm gonna make Riley rest for a little bit because he didn't sleep very much. I should be resting too, but I can't sleep in the daytime. I hope the road is good on this side. So I'm going home to the New Brunswick way because I can get home the Quebec way and I can get home the New Brunswick way. It's a little quicker to go this way. Just because I'm already down this way. So the other way I would have had to go all the way around that river that you guys see in front of me. limit's a little quicker but it's all good oh <sighs> my head hurts so bad I'm hoping that eating will help I don't have to take any Advil What have you guys did this weekend? I hope your weekend was a little less hectic than what mine has been. I'm gonna go home and um, I have a video from Valentine's Day that I have to get up. It's already on YouTube, I just have to publish it. And then I think I have one more video. Valentine's Day was Thursday and Friday was when I went and I picked Jay up. So I have like the footage from running down there picking him up. Which I'll put up. And hopefully you guys don't get confused. Um, today's Sunday and it's been a week today that Jay was in the hospital. Friday they let him out. They were going to let him out on like Saturday morning, but because it was uh, it was nice down there on Friday for the for the first part of the morning or day, but then it got really bad and it was supposed to snow Saturday morning. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So they let him go Friday night. Like I said, Friday night, everything was good. Yesterday was Saturday. We went to town and, you know, all that stuff. 
And his potassium is really high too. So, we're trying to get all that stuff under control. Um, they were talking about, <clears throat> this wasn't the doctor that said this or the transplant people, this was just a nurse. Had said that he might not be able to get a kidney transplant now because he's got epilepsy, apparently. We don't know for sure. I I kind of hope not because he's been wanting this, waiting for this transplant, been on dialysis now for like four years, having to drive down there. a lot and then to be told you know like you might not get your transplant at all Ooh, popos. I don't even know what the speed limit is here I was doing 70 I'm gonna assume that it's 50 or 60 I think it's 60 um anyways so just please pray that he can still get his transplant if he's called because it's rough, really rough. Um, but the t I don't know if I'll, I might get the three videos up today, I'm not sure. Um, I know I will, when I get home I'll get the Valentine's Day one up. And then maybe later tonight I'll put the one up from Friday. And then this one here I will put up tomorrow morning, which would be Monday morning. Just so you guys aren't confused, all this would have happened over the weekend. It's happening right now for me, but when you guys get to see it, it'll, it'll have been the weekend. Um... I'm going to continue to share his campaign that I made for him because obviously all these trips to the hospital that I have to make and then I'm going to, um, depending on how long they're going to keep him down there, I might go down um, one night and stay at the hostel down there, which is like right next door to the uh, hospital. I think it's twenty-five dollars. Twenty-five dollars like a night or something like that. It's crazy. But we'll see. And then I'm gonna have to go pick him up from uh, Bathurst again. I hope that seizure medication will be covered, which I'm assuming it, it will be, um, that's two ambulance bills that we're going to end up getting, so I don't know, I don't know how this is all going to play out, I just know we're going to need money. So if you guys could share my campaign, you guys can copy the link if you want and just, you know, write your own little thing if you need, if you want, or you can share my video, whatever you guys choose to do. Just know that I really, truly appreciate the shares. I've appreciate, I appreciate those of you who've donated so far, complete strangers, you know, I've just talked to a couple of you guys on here a few times, and I'm just, it's overwhelming how, how generous people can be, um, so, with that being said, I'm going to put you guys away, I'm going to finish eating. I'm gonna get home to my son, and if this headache doesn't go away, I am gonna have to take an Advil. We'll see.
see how it goes from there. So I think I'll end this video because it's gonna be long with just me talking and I know my videos have just been chit chatty. My my world's upside down right now and this is, you know, all I know to do, so it's my way of keeping sane, I guess, when like I mentioned before, it's my way of keeping sane while everything around everything around me is falling apart. That being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you. And uh, I will definitely keep you updated, so I'll talk to you later.